Hey, welcome to Coffee, 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 your place for average Joe coffee reviews. Today's coffee company recommends having your first cup of coffee in total isolation. <laughs> So today we are reviewing Death Wish Coffee Company's Dark Roast. Uh, we have the whole bean variety and we ground, ground it here. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's supposed to be very strong coffee. The world's strongest coffee. World's strongest. Yeah, which we've uh, reviewed some Death Wish coffee before. Valhalla's Valhalla. Force. Yeah, that one I really enjoyed. Uh -huh. I still think about that coffee. Yeah. On certain days. It's because you like Vikings. I do. I love that bag. It was so cool. Um, so this is a pound and generally it retails for about 1940 something mm -hmm. on and, amazon yeah on amazon so it, it's pretty expensive coffee mm -hmm. but you know it's supposed to be like you know they say it's like really strong like maybe like twice as strong as normal coffee but on their brewing instructions they do say to do two and a half tablespoons per uh uh six ounces of water right. normally you would have like one tablespoon. One right? to two but, depends know, on the coffee. Yeah. yeah, but still, I kind of wonder if it's like that's part of the the whole ploy. Is like, well, if you make it the way we say it, right? You know, dump the whole bag into one coffee filter. <laughs> right. Yeah. But we brewed this because, to our taste, mm -hmm. uh, we don't we don't really like it that strong. Like um, when it's two and a half uh, yeah. tablespoons, it's too much. It's it's too too strong of a flavor. We don't enjoy it. So, what did you do on this? The heaping tablespoon, yeah. one per six, cup. Six, so in this thing, I made six thing, you know, the marking number six on your coffee maker. I did six heaping right. uh, tablespoons. Mm -hmm. And that's how we normally make this coffee. Right. Yeah. So this is supposed to have bold flavor and it's just supposed to be reliable. Mm -hmm. really be a whole this is lot their first one, right? This is like the one they came out with in the is beginning. It? Dark roast? I don't know. It's the I, thing I remember seeing, I guess. I don't know. I feel like I don't know. So I just remember the Super Bowl commercial with the boat. And and we did this in the drip coffee maker. So mm -hmm. uh but I really like this coffee and I'm normally not a, a dark huge roast. dark roast fan. I, I used to be a long time ago when we first started this channel and then I got more into medium roast. And, uh, I brought you to the medium side. <laughs> right, yeah. But but this, I think because a lot of dark roasts just have this kind of, this flavor, it's almost like burnt tasting that I just, it's like, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. But this, I do like. There's, there is that hint of that, but it, it's, I like it. Yeah. It's, it's just the right amount of it. Do you know the competition that they were in, in order to become the world's strongest coffee? No. I don't either. Because I'm asking, like, the World Series of baseball. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. It's just American teams. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah. Like, it's not how the do you World really know? Series. Yeah. How do you like, really There know? could be some guy in Africa who's picked his own beans and has made the world's strongest coffee. Mm -hmm. But it seems like they just maybe trademarked yeah. that I was going to say, because they, they do have, like... A registered yeah, mark on the world's strongest yeah. coffee. So, I guess, you know, maybe it's not so much a... a a true claim as it is just this is our tagline yeah. puffering strong. yeah puffering that's a sales term salesmen are allowed to puffer like making claims that something is a little bit better than maybe it actually is mm -hmm. yeah that's still a lie yeah so don't trust the salesman who puffers right especially yeah. if he tells you he's puffering well yeah that's true. <laughs> I don't think most salesmen would. right I like to under promise and over deliver isn't that what a good salesman does? Yeah, but you don't tell people that. Oh, yeah, right, right, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we didn't pay that much for this bag. We should say that. Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. We, would, we wouldn't have sprung uh, for a $20, $20 a pound no. bag of coffee no. mm -mm. like that. We don't do that. We paid it was like $3. something like $3. It was at a thrift store, basically. Yeah, but it wasn't open yet. No. And no. it's in date. We have standards. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but, it's close to that. Yeah. But this is, I mean, if if I weren't, you know, such a cheapskate, I would, I think I would probably buy it, you know, in the store. If, mm -hmm. it, if it was like, oh, money doesn't matter, you know. Right. If I was that kind of wealthy. Yeah. But I, I'm not. And so I do look at prices and, you know, I was looking at Sweetwater Organic Coffee or is is it sweet water mm -hmm. organic? Yeah, it's in Gainesville, Florida. So it's kind of a local roaster for us. And they, they've got stuff for like 
$15 a pound. And so, which it, their stuff is really and good. good and it's, re yeah, it's really good. So I, I just, I don't think I would buy this one. So, so what would we rate this? Well, I mean, this is fair trade certified. We should say that. Mm -hmm. And organic. So that's something. But I think. $20 a pound. I mean, but should we deduct? We do. We do. Yeah, we do deduct donuts. We do. Yeah. Because we're average Joes. Yeah, that's true. So what do you, what would you? So that. I'm going to, I'm going to decline to speak first. Cat guano coffee would be like a one donut because it was so expensive, even yeah. if it tasted good. Yeah. Um, I, I don't want to be unfair to it because it's good coffee. It's just a little mm -hmm. pricier. So I think four donuts yeah. is mm -hmm. fair in regards yeah. to how we rate things. Yeah. I was more along the lines of three and a half, but I'll go four. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's expensive. I think there's, you know, some hype around death wish coffee, like it's, but I do like it. I, mm -hmm. I mean, as far as the consistent, it seems like it's a very consistent cup too. Like right. all the bags that we've had have been really good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. or, or at least I, I think so. I think we've liked all the death wish. It's just been this one in the Valhalla. But we have enjoyed both oh, of them very much. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, but there are some coffees that get hype around them mm -hmm. and we haven't enjoyed. So, right. I mean, we're not the be all end all, but no. that's how I feel about it. Right. So, uh, if you've had Death Wish coffee before or you know of a different variety of Death Wish coffee that may be a little different than this normal bold roast, let us know in the comments what you thought of those. And if we see a bag at our thrift store connection, we'll pick it up for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thanks for joining us for this review. And until next time, keep grinding.